Well, what's up? My name's Mia Vogel. I'm a seventh grader at Skill Middle School. And tonight I'll be perform performing a piece for you called Escapism. She walks in the halls alone, a hollow spirit and empty shadow, lost in the world, doesn't know where to go, where to be or who to be. All she has are the thoughts in her mind that break her down and rip her heart apart. Until there's nothing left for her heart to beat, until there's nothing left to want. Until she never comes back from never loving anything she had, but loving the life she wanted to have. Because what she has is not what she wants. She wants the, a life where she had a crown on her head and fairy gardens beneath her feet, just like her friends in first grade, because her life was escapism, escaping the memories in front of and behind her, each memory reminding her that she was never worth anything to anyone and that her shredded heart will never matter to them because her life was always sad reality, just a drum beat that kept cadence as they destroyed the world around her. Reality, R-E-A-L. I T Y. The world is a state of things that actually exist as an opposed to an idealistic or notional idea of them. She thinks as she sits at her desk, will memories flood her brain like a tidal wave of pressure coming in and drowning her in the idea that she needs to stop dreaming because her life will always be a sad reality. The jealousy, the bickering, the yelling, the fighting, all the negativity and rage making up a collage of her surroundings, led daintily by the wrist of her sage melancholy to the trap of of hopelessness that hold her down and the shackle of negativity of her surroundings, leaving her to do nothing except dream of escaping the life she has and getting the reality she wants. The reality where she can sail her own ship and rule her own kingdom and decide what she can see and unsee. This dream was a fading coastline in the distance because her life was her boat crashing by the waves, falling, and the walls to her kingdom crumbling down by her vulnerability because not her, but the people she loved controlled her memories, formed by the bad decisions that everyone sees. So now I have to resort to escapism.